I don't really believe in just giving Clomid in the absence of mini IVF. Um, but the typical thing is to take your Clomid on day five to nine or day three to seven. And hopefully stopping the Clomid allows your uterine lining to recover from the negative impact of Clomid on your uterine lining. But that really doesn't work very well. And so just giving Clomid on its own, which is the common treatment gynecologists do, is going to have a very, 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 very low success rate. Uh, so um, we would combine Clomid with mini IVF so that we, Clomid will give you the best quality eggs because it gives you a minimum rise in FSH and an equivalent rise in LH and you get the best quality eggs. But the pregnancy rate is disastrously low because of the negative impact on the uterine lining. So we freeze those embryos and then three months later, when the uterine lining is totally recovered from that negative effect, we transfer the embryos. So it, with, with IVF, Clomid is an extremely valuable drug, even though it's a very, very old and a very cheap drug. But I really don't believe in giving it in the absence of many IVF, just to, like handing out bags of popcorn uh, to infertile people uh, because the success rate is so low. And I don't like to see your eggs getting older while you're getting ineffective treatment. So it's the best I can answer that uh, very quick question. Mm -hmm.